This is an NBC News special report. Here is Natalie Morales. Good morning. We are coming to you as the U.S. Supreme Court has just handed down a crucial decision on the constitutionality of Arizona's strict immigration law. It was signed into law in 2010, but a few months later, a U.S. district judge blocked its most controversial elements. At issue is whether states can enforce federal immigration laws. It's a very complicated ruling, as we understand. We have NBC's justice correspondent Pete Williams at the courthouse in Washington trying to sort it all out for us. Pete, good morning, and tell us how it came down. Well, Natalie, I suspect that both sides will have something in here that they can claim victory about. What the Supreme Court said is that most of the law that was challenged here is unconstitutional, but by a five to three vote, the court has upheld a provision in the law that says police officers in Arizona must check the immigration status of anyone they arrest before that person can be released. Five to three, Justice Kennedy writing the majority opinion, Justices Thomas, Alito, and Scalia dissenting. That's only eight justices. This is one that Elena Kagan sat out because she had worked on this case uh, when she was at the Justice Department before she came to the Supreme Court. So three other provisions of the law that were before the court were struck down. Two of them made it a state crime to do something in Arizona that was not a crime under federal immigration law, to look for work and to be in the state without papers. The court also struck down a very controversial part of the law that said police officers in Arizona can arrest someone without a warrant if they think someone has done something that violates federal immigration law. So three of the four provisions declared unconstitutional, one part held up. And remember, Natalie, this is not the end of the court fight over the Arizona law because there are civil lawsuits pending. This was one filed by the Justice Department. There are other lawsuits pending in Arizona that challenge the law as racial profiling. Those are now working their way through the courts. Uh, this ain't over yet, Natalie. Absolutely not. And let me bring in our uh, uh, today's legal correspondent, Savannah Guthrie, who is here with us for some legal analysis. So, Savannah, the most disputed provision in this Arizona law is the stop and check part of that law. And that's the part the justices upheld. How surprising is that? It, it's, um, it's somewhat of a surprise. I think based on oral arguments, there was an expectation that this law would be upheld because there was skepticism on both the liberal side of the court and the conservative side of the court of the government's position, the federal mm -hmm. government, which was trying to strike down the law. And yet they have struck down the majority of it, but upheld that provision that got most of the attention, the, the ability of police officers in Arizona to determine the immigration status of anybody they had lawfully stopped. Now, mm -hmm. as Pete just mentioned, there is a lot of litigation to come. One of the reasons why this was so controversial was because people thought this is going to lead to racial profiling. There hasn't been a racial profiling case yet before the court. This law has hasn't gone into effect yet. Once it goes into effect, you can bet there will be lawsuits to come. And some of those issues, those equal protection issues, will be litigated for sure. All right, Savannah so Guthrie, thank you. And again, our thank you to Pete Williams as well. Of course, we're going to have much more all day on MSNBC and tonight on NBC Nightly News.